So a little over 190 days ago, I came up with an idea called the $5 Investment Challenge. And over 700 of you guys on my channel have followed me on this journey and actually joined me inside of my $5 per day challenge group that you guys can find below in the link in the description if you want to join us. And over 190 days ago, it was a very simple task. We want to put $5 per day into anything. Stocks, crypto, commodities, doesn't matter, and simply let compound interest do the magic. And today, over 190 days into this process, we started February 1st, 2024. We're coming up in late August 2024. I am here to explain where I'm currently at, what I'm currently making in dividends, what my growth has been, and if I plan to change my strategy. So let's hop onto the computer screen here and talk about this. So as you can see here, this is the current value of my portfolio. Now, some of it's in cash, but we have $1,083 in the portfolio. You can see that $709 of that is in the value of my stocks. And I do have some as cash as that's just sitting ready to go for those $5 per day. That's going to be coming up in the future. Now, all we really care about, we don't really care about the cash. We care about these funds and we care about the results so far. So what's happened? Well, on the $5 a day challenge, I've made 5.6% so far in these first basically six months, February to August. So I'm on pace to do right around 9.37% for the year. Pretty good. That's right where I would want to be. $57.72 in profit. Now, for those of you guys that haven't watched us on this journey in the channel, you guys can click on a video that I have pulling up here as well as in the description in the playlist the $5 per day challenge, the, the simple strategy for me was just utilizing funds. And so right now, one of the funds I'm utilizing is SCHD. I'll click into here in a minute, but you can see it over here on my top gainers. And that is a dividend ETF. And you can see I'm up to $17.08 annually in dividends, which might not sound like much, but that's over 2% annual dividends, 2.41 to be exact. That's going to be coming into the portfolio. That's not going to go away as long as I don't sell, no matter what the price of these shares do. So let's look at these shares. Which one's doing better? Well, my VTI, which is the total stock market fund, that's like investing in everything, uh, including the NASDAQ, including the S&P, including the Dow, you name it. Basically, imagine if you could buy one stock but own every single stock in the entire market. That's VTI. So I currently have 1.307599 shares of that. I've invested $338.77 so far, and the value is $355.58. That's an $18.08 gain for 5.34%. The allocation is 50.1%. I'm trying to keep this as close as I can to 50-50. The second holding is Schwab. And that is 4.34 shares, and I've invested $340.80, and it's currently worth $354.22 for a total profit of $16.72, which is a return of 7.91%. Now, as you can see, my total portfolio value, I've invested over these last 190-plus days, almost 200 days, $679.57. Now, remember, when I say that, that does not include weekends. That does not include bank holidays. Every other day, I've invested $5. And its current value is $709.79. Now, when you click into the analytics a little bit deeper, I think what's interesting is just seeing what this looks like. So this is year to date. You can see we didn't start till February 1st. And every single blue bubble represents where I've entered. You can see, I've entered way down here. I've entered on this dip. I entered on this spike. I kept entering here. I kept entering here. I kept entering here. The point is, I never stopped entering. Now, here's what's important there. My average price is $259.07. That's my average cost per share, where we are currently trading at 272 uh, 27208. That means that even with these pullbacks and these peaks, I still have a profitable position because I've been able to buy in here and buy this dip. I bought more in this dip, and that's automated. I use Robinhood. I have it set automated. I actually don't touch anything. And so you can see exactly how this position looks. And this isn't going to look any different from, uh, from uh, when we look at the SCHD. This isn't going to look any different. You can see, same thing. This one's been much more volatile. It hasn't gained as much. It's been a little bit more sideways. But regardless, 
I keep the main thing the main thing. We've been buying every single day without question, unless it's a weekend or unless it's a holiday and the, and the, uh, the market's closed. I am investing $5 a day. My average share here is $78.50. It's currently trading at $81.59. And uh, again, on this one, this one's more of a dividend yield, 3.47%. And so that's exciting for me because I'm trying to grow the dividend snowball in this portfolio. Now, again, why is this important? Well, what I'm trying to do is the number one thing that I see from people that watch my YouTube channel is they say, how do I invest with $100? How do I invest with very little money? I am showing you right here, all I've done is $5 a day. And throughout this past year, in six months, I now have over $700 sitting. Think about that for a minute. If you don't have a whole lot of money, $700 can start to help you in certain circumstances. And so this is proving that if you can just sit to the, the parameters, which is $5 a day in any stock you like, and consistently purchase and purchase and purchase over and over and over again, you can get to your goals. Now, speaking of getting to your goals, if you guys haven't heard of this already, we have a $5 per day challenge, which I'll link in the description, where you guys can join us. We have over 700 members that are inside of this $5 per day challenge, and all these people are doing is doing what we're doing. They're putting in $5 per day every single day and growing their account. And some of those people right now are watching this video, listening to this, and they're running through it. Shout out to Dorian Carter. Maybe he's going to watch this. He's showing, hitting his strides. Check, $5. Check, $5. $5. Thursday the 4th, the market was closed, $5. You can see he's holding himself accountable. So if you want to join a group of like-minded people that are all investing, they're all investing $5 per day, join us, click the link in the description, or go to 5indaily.com, or you can go to school.com forward slash $5 challenge that you can see right here in the top left corner. Again, link will be in the description. But all of that to be said, where do we go from here? Is my strategy going to change? Right now, the answer is no. I like where I'm at with the strategy. I like how it looks. I like what I'm trying to accomplish. I just, in general, like the strategy. But I will tell you, if the market post-rate cuts starts to have any sort of, uh, you know, any sort of downturn, if we start to see bad economic data, from the unemployment side or the retail sales side or the inflation side after they rate cuts, after they start cutting rates, and then they have to slash rates even further to save the economy and then the, and then the market starts to crash, I will more than likely change my strategy. What will I change it to? It will actually become even more aggressive. I'll start to look at the things that have taken the biggest hit, which in my opinion, if the market downturns, SCHD will be a very safe bet because it's a more stagnant dividend fund. VTI will be down. But the biggest downturn will be QQQ, which I don't own any of. And so I'm really excited to try to add QQQ to this portfolio as a third fund and get it more towards a 30-30-30 split. So it'll, I'll be adding QQQ aggressively for a while. But in order to get there, I want to see if the market can pull back. And during that period of time, I'll just consistently keep adding $5 per day into the portfolio. So with that said, you guys can now see what I'm doing. This is $5 per day. This is no magic pill. This is nothing really that magical at all. I'm just investing $5 a day. I encourage every single one of you, whether you have kids, grandkids, sisters, brothers, or yourselves, if you've struggled with consistent investing, take the $5 a day challenge. You can start whenever you like. You can join us inside of the community. We have some tutorials on some ideas on how to do this, on how to build a portfolio. Join us, get around a group of like-minded people, and simply put away $5 a day. So as you can see, in just $5 a day, my portfolio is now worth over $700, and I'm so excited to get over that $1,000 mark coming soon as we keep investing. So with that said, guys, if you plan to join us, I can't wait to see you on the inside. As always, if you haven't already, click the like button for all the videos I'm putting out. And of course, about half of you statistically watching this right now are, are enjoying the content, but you're not subscribed. So if you could, click the subscribe button. If it forces you to make an account, make a YouTube account. Click subscribe. Thank you so much for doing so, and I'll see all of you guys on the next video.